I'm glad that at last housing has been recognized as a European issue. We have millions of European citizens that can no longer afford a house or they have to spend more than half of their income to pay rent uh, or a mortgage. And this, uh, beware, it does not simply affect, uh, as in the past, lowest income household, but is increasingly affecting the middle class. And his, this has uh, heavy social consequences as an increasing risk of poverty, but also economic consequences. In certain areas, firms can no longer attract or retain workers simply because the salary they can offer can barely cover for rent. So this is really a problem we need to address and it's crucial that the EU starts playing a role in supporting affordable housing and public investments, as many colleagues have mentioned. But beware, there are many other aspects to be addressed. For example, why does the official measure of the inflation rate, which serves as the basis to negotiate wages, exclude the owner occupying housing costs, for example? And also think about our banking and financial regulation. Is it adequate to address and prevent speculative bubbles in the housing market? There are many things, a lot of work that has to be done to fully understand and address the causes of the problem and trying to find some European solution, keeping one principle in mind that housing is not just a market like any other but is a primary need. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Uh, nuestra siguiente oradora es la señora Galán.